Hey there folks, thank you for coming to my channel today. This is Peter with BlackRock Business and today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, I am going to talk about setting up a wholesale price level. Uh, I, I come across this question kind of all the time. A lot of different people have retail customers and then they are actually, um, they gotten into the business of supplying some other local people or companies with the products that they get a lot of and so they have a wholesale pricing scheme that they need to set up. Uh, some people are doing this very wrong and they, they just set up a discount all the time when you should actually be doing this according to a different price level. I've talked about price levels in the past, we've set some up, I don't think I've specifically focused on wholesale and so I keep also still <laughs> I keep getting this question still about wholesale pricing levels and I, I believe I've explained about price levels but I'm just gonna make this video totally focused on making a wholesale price level because then I can say hey I covered that alright here it is <laughs> so uh, before we jump into doing this I'm gonna have you click on the link in the description down below you can get over to our QuickBooks point of sale Facebook group I'd be more than happy to answer all your questions about QuickBooks Point of Sale. We have an excellent community there of users who are also using QuickBooks Point of Sale. We're sharing a lot of information, getting a lot of answers out there. It's just, it's going really great. We have tons of posts each day. It's, it's a thriving community and I think you should join it because if you don't, you're going to be in the dark. <laughs> all right, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and hit subscribe as well to get all these videos over to you all the time. Uh, when new ones come out. Okay, on the file menu we are going to preferences and then we are gonna jump into company. In the company preferences on the left hand side you're gonna go down the left hand and find pricing. There you go, pricing. So your default price, I, I don't know why anybody would change this but I guess you certainly could, is going to be regular price. Now you're gonna have some price level names here and I believe when you get this out of the box it has some default ones that are just kind of pretend. I've changed them a few times in different examples that I'm doing uh, but right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe out the out of town florist because that was for just a specific person I was talking to and I was telling them how they could do this and we're just gonna call this the wholesale price level uh, we could leave it at 20 or we could give them, I don't know, let's, let's do something funny. Let's, let's say wholesale customers get 17% off. Now I'm going to stop right here and tell you that when you set up this price level, what you're doing is that every time a, an item is created from now on, when you give it the regular price, it's automatically going to set the wholesale price level at 17% off of that automatically. Now that's a good thing because it does it automatically and in a moment we're going to walk through setting up your initial price because when you set up this price level any item that was created before this is not going to recalculate automatically for the wholesale price level to 17%. So you got to go through that one time, the first time that you set it up. Then every item after that that you create in your point of sale will automatically have the wholesale price level set upon creation. So you're good after this, after the first time uh, we do the price change. So the other thing I need to mention is that some people would like to set a different price level and they would like it to be cost plus pricing. And that makes a lot of sense. I do understand that uh, because you are buying this product at a certain cost and you would just like to have a certain mark up. Uh, for some reason, I, I wish they'd change this and I wish that they would allow this, but it's, it's stuck at mark down. I wish we could do cost mark up and you can in a certain manner and I'm going to mention that I'm going to show you how you can if you want to but you, there's a lot more maintenance to doing it that way so we're setting it for 17% off the regular price I'm going to hit save and then 
we are going to go up to the inventory menu. And like I was saying, every item you add after this will happen automatically, but the first time you set that, like we just did, you need to go to the price manager because we need to make a price change to the wholesale price level and all the items from the past, we just need to set them to 17% off because they're not set. Because that price level was like, what, 20 or something like that? We changed it. So currently it's sitting at 20 and we wanna set the past item. So I'm gonna say that we are doing, and you can call this whatever you want, initial price set for wholesale or something. Oh, too many letters. All right, that's fine. So we are gonna do this to all the items. I will mention that if you'd like to, you can set different departments or different vendors at different levels because I know certain ones have better margins than others. Uh, we're gonna do it for all items and we're gonna tell our wholesale customers, hey, y'all get 17% off. Sometimes even taking a hit on an item is fine because they're buying other items uh, massively, you know? So we're gonna calculate the new wholesale price from the price. And like I said, you can do it cost plus, but the thing with that is every time you create new items and it sets it automatically at that 17% off, you're gonna to have to come back through and reprice it at the cost plus. And you'll have to do that like on a weekly basis. And that's why you can't just kind of set the wholesale for cost plus, cause it's not on that setting screen. So back to our initial price set, we're gonna calculate from price and we're going to select a price level to calculate from regular. We're gonna calculate the new price by multiplying. So we're going to multiply the regular price by, what is it, 0.83. And that'll give us the 17% off for the initial price setting. So I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna hit finish. And I have some items in here are priced at zero. So it's just telling me, hey, that's gonna be a problem because the new price level is gonna <laughs> not end up right. It's just gonna all be zero. Well, that makes sense because it is zero. So I wish I didn't have those in here, but I was screwing around and I got some in here that are at zero. So, Let's see here. So we are pretty much seeing here that uh, this was the 20% off that these were previously, and now we're going to 17% off for wholesale, so it's changing it to this. It doesn't tell us the actual regular price, I wish it did, uh, but it only tells us the price change from the previous setting of price prices, which was 20%, down to 17% what that changes. Uh, but just be aware that this should calculate just fine. We're timesing it by 0.83, so it's 17%. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply those changes to inventory. That's fine, continue. It's having a problem with the zeros. All right, now everything on the list for the wholesale price level is 17% off and everything you add from now on will be 17% off. Now, how does that work with a customer? Well, if you go to your customer list and I'm going to, I have a customer here called Fun Florist, okay? I would like to assign Fun Florist to my wholesale list. So I'm gonna hit edit on this customer and where is it here? This customer type, okay, discount. I believe we're gonna hit edit discount and I'm gonna use a markdown price level for this customer. So instead of them getting regular price, I'm going to assign them to wholesale. Now they are a wholesale customer, I save them. Now if I'm making a sale and somebody walks in and says, I'm from Fun Florist, so I get wholesale. So you're gonna add them to the receipt Fun Florist, it's automatically gonna pop up and say, hey, they have, uh, they're have they assigned to wholesale. Do you wanna use that price level on this sale? You're gonna say yes. And now anything we add 
is automatically 17% off. We can see wholesale down here, subtotal. I believe these boots are normally like, what, $69.99, something like that. Um, I think you can actually add regular price to here as a column, maybe. Regular price, there we go. There, we can see regular price over here is $69.99. They are actually getting it for $58.09, which is the wholesale price because they are assigned to that price level. And there you have it. That's how you create a wholesale price level and you add customers to it and ring them out. All right. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. If you found this helpful, go ahead and hit like down below. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those as well. Thank you. Have a stupendous day. Bye-bye.